Yo, what up everybody? I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing book number one in C.J. Sansom's Matthew Shardlake Medieval Mysteries, and book number one is called Dissolution. came out in 2003. Now let's review the cover because you know I love graphic design and cover illustration. So let's just review the cover first. I think it's got an elegant cover here. You know, dissolution up here written in sort of medieval uh, script. And then the, the, the name of the author and then uh, this sort of eerie uh, sort of atmospheric photoshopped image of some monks in a cathedral. And it works okay for me. I like it. I, I especially like the spine. Now, if we set it up here with the rest of the series, you know, none of the covers are really that consistent. I mean, we've got book two, Dark Fire, book three, Sovereign, book four, Revelation, book five, Hearthstone, six is Lamentation, seven is Tombland. Well, kind of, uh, and none of the spines really match up either, so I won't even bother showing you them. But anyway, all in all, though, I think they're all pretty cool looking. And it's a great series. It's about, um, maybe some of you have seen my uh, reviews of the CAD fail files, uh, the, the monk that solves mysteries in the 1200s. Or uh, there's also The Name of the Rose, which is probably the most well-known book about monks solving murder mysteries in ancient medieval abbeys. Well, the Shard Lake is comparable to those two. Although this is set more in the uh, King Henry VIII or III. I can't remember which King Henry it was that was married to Anne Boleyn and had Thomas Cromwell as, the, uh, as his advisor. But that's some of those characters are in this book. 1537 is when this takes place. By the way, there's a cool little map in here. And there's um, a list of... There's a list of all the monks in the Abbey that we get to know and their duties... And then there's a couple maps in here, and then, oh, the maps are on the inside flap. This is a map of the Abbey, because there's a murder that takes place in the Abbey. We'll get to that. The, um, the, uh, it, it, hap it takes place in Scarn Sea Abbey in Sussex County, England, which is uh, along the southern coast. Now, I googled this, and Scarn Sea exists, but there's no Abbey there. So I think that, uh, for the sake of the book, the Abbey was created. Maybe it's been destroyed since, but I researched and I could not find anything about the Scarn Sea Abbey in Sussex. So there is that. However, the history behind what's going on is real. So, oh, another aside. Back in 2017, Kenneth Branagh was set to play investigator Shard Lake in... Uh, the BBC series that was going to be based off these books, but that never happened. Don't know if anybody cared. Anyway, so, Matthew Shardlake is a hunchback. Um, so picture that. So he's an investigator and a hunchback. He is commissioned by Lord Thomas Cromwell, who is the guy that sort of oversees the king's affairs, um, he is commissioned to go to Scarnsea to investigate a murder because Cromwell sent a commissioner there um, who was murdered. Uh, the commissioner went down to Scarnsea Abbey to make sure that those Abbey guys were obeying the Abbey rules and obeying the church's rules because the Abbeys were known uh, for housing, uh, I don't know how to put this anymore delicately, but... Thomas Cromwell did not like abbeys, monks, or abbots, or any of that, because he thought they were all sodomites. It's the easiest way to say it. And he would behead a lot of them if he thought that they were... I mean, the abbeys, the, the monks and stuff that lived in these places were d just terrified of Cromwell, because he'd just accuse people of the sodomy and, and not obeying the rules and not... And it just... He was terrorizing these guys. And he sent a commissioner down to the Scarnsea Abbey to see if any shenanigans were going on. Well, that commissioner gets murdered. Which probably is a good sign that maybe there was something going on. And uh, so uh, 
he sends Shard Lake, Cromwell sends Shard Lake, go find out why my commissioner was murdered. So that's Shard Lake's uh, duty. He goes down there, he goes to the Abbey, and um, starts investigating. Yeah, the commissioner was murdered. He was found beheaded, which back in the, and Shard Lake's like, well, it's really hard. And then he looked at the body and he's like, it's really difficult to behead someone so cleanly. So he's like, this had to have taken a really sharp weapon, a really heavy weapon, and a really strong person to do it. And so now he's got to figure out how this all went down. Now, also, there's, um, well, that's about the whole crux of the situation. And then he's got, then we've got the list of um, monks that may or may not be suspects. And I love that this list is here because it tells us all the monks and what their duties are. It t it's, this map also shows us where all the monks would live and go and where each one of them would probably be able to have access to. And so you can kind of piece together things as you go along following the story with the investigator Shard Lake. You get to, with that list of suspects and the map of different places they can and cannot go, you can kind of start to piece together the mystery yourself. And it's really delightfully fun. It's a really fun, fun book to read. And, um, yeah, it's uh, graphic. It's very graphic. It's like, uh, yeah, some of these monks uh, are not all that godlike. That's all I got to say about that. And Shard Lake, he, he's sort of a no-nonsense guy. Not only that, but he's got his sidekick with him, uh, who's also sort of a no-nonsense guy. Sort of like a bodyguard. And, um, because Shard Lake is a hunchback. Um, he's sort of like the Hercule Perot of, uh, I don't know. I don't even know if I said that right. You know, Agatha Christie guy. We're talking about Kenneth Branagh. I just went and saw the uh, Death on the River, the River Nile with Kenneth Branagh, which made me bring up the whole Kenneth Branagh thing was he was going to be Shard Lake in this anyway. He, anyway, he probably chose the Agatha Christie. Hercule Perot, um, Inspector rather than Shard. Like, anyway, this is a great book. This is a great book. Not only, oh, I forgot, one of the big plot points. Not only was the commissioner killed, but the holy relic was stolen from the abbey. What is the holy relic? Well, it is the, it is the uh, relic of the penitent thief. Now, what would the relic of the penitent thief be exactly? This is very important to the plot. Well, the relic of the penitent thief is, remember the thieves that were hung on the cross with Christ, next to Christ? Well, it's actually one of their hands cut off with the nail still in it, stuck to a piece of wood. My God, what a relic to have. A handy relic to have. But it was stolen. Someone made off with it after they killed the commissioner. Anyway, all of those things are resolved and solved by Shard Lake at the end. And this is just a cool book. This is just a great puzzle book to put together. I liked it a lot. Um, let's give this one a 9 out of 10. 